Hello everybody, and welcome to another Gay Let's Play Jade Empire. How's it going folks? I am ready to get right into this. Okay, so I'm trying to remember, the last thing that we did, when we last saw our fellow heroes, we made ourselves, we managed to make ourselves, I can't talk right now. What a way to start! What a way to start an LP. We manage to make our way atop the gold division of the arena, and discovered some pretty interesting things about the original champion, the Ravager. Uh, we discovered that the Ravager was actually uh, Drunken Mickey's dead brother, whom Drunken Mickey killed for the second time. Um, but yeah, that was kind of a sad sad little little scene there. But um, hey, we managed to win the whole thing and as a prize we got ourselves a brand spanking new um, Martial Style Iron Palm. Which I think I'm going to now use as my main uh, Martial, Martial Style, I think. Uh, which will effectively replace Legendary Strike. So I'm glad I hadn't put anything in legend Legendary Strike yet, because I think I'm going to focus a little bit more with Iron Palm. And I believe we have some style points. But we, before I put some points in Iron Palm, I just wanted to do this last... The Mir Mirabelle is an awesome, awesome weapon, and I really want to maximize its focus cost reduction, because it uses up so much focus and I think that will help it a lot which means I have three star three style points which is fine um, iron palm is relatively slow I think so I'm gonna do that and um, do damage increase okay yeah I'll do that okay and I'll play around with that a little bit. And then, what are we doing now? I think we have to do something with the Necropolis. Oh, take evidence to Prefect Jitong. About slave traders, you must take that to Prefect Jitong and get Scholar Songto released. Who is... Oh gosh, I forgot all about this. The slave... Who is Prefect Jitong? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Hopefully I'll remember. We'll see. Um, the Inquisitors. Well, we don't really care about the Inquisitors too much, because I think we already got stuff from the Executioners, I think. Um, administer that the Outlander has left the Scholar's Garden. Okay. See the Minister of Culture. And Fading Moon is still at large, and the Sith of Discord, which we're not going to do because it's the way of the Closed Fist. Okay. So, um... Prefect Chiktong wondering what that is. But let's let's head out. I want what I want to come with me. We are about to go, I think, into the necropolis. And if that's the case, since there's gonna be a lot of undead, I think we should bring OnStar with us. I am honored that you have chosen me. We haven't had OnStar in our party in so long and I think it's about time that we rotated her back in. Because if you remember I like to rotate my characters. So let us plan to do that. Take on Star around. Now that she she understands that, you know, we're just a brother we just have a brotherly sisterly love. That's it. Just a brotherly sisterly love. Which hopefully she is okay with. Because, you know, that's that's pretty big. That's a pretty big strong bond there. Uh oh. Cutscene. So things are looking up. You've gained the favor of the Lotus Assassins. I mean, I did. With the recommendation of the Executioner, the others will welcome you as a recruit. You can slip into the very heart of their lair. Uh, right, yes, of course. And after we find the evidence against Death's Hand, you will take us to the palace to find Master Lee? I promise, little Dawnstar. After we get what I want from the Lotus Assassins, the palace is the first place we will go. Perfect. You have permission, so there won't be any trouble entering. It's only after we have the evidence against Death's Hand that they might notice something is wrong. Alright. Um... 
Well, we'll worry about that when the time comes. It would still be good to get some information first. Sagacious Zoo might know something. We should ask him. Yes, let's. Uh, where... where is he? Wait... yeah, where is Zoo? Well, you should be more careful of who you trust. Oh, wow. Zoo's... M.I.A. Huh. This is an interesting... This is an interesting turn of events. Um... If I did that, none of you would be here. If I did that... Touché, Angelus. Touché. If I did that, none of you would be here. That is true. I wouldn't trust any of the ragged homeless you have collected. Oh, princess. No offense meant to those of you who are actually homeless, Dawnstar. Ouch. Oh. If Sagacious Zoo has gone to warn the Lotus Assassins, you need to move quick. If he's just run off, he is no longer our concern. I'd, I still trust Zoo. Zoo would not turn on us. Yes, I still trust Zoo. The Lotus Assassin Fortress is in the far end of the necropolis. They shouldn't give you any trouble. Just appear confident as you enter. Confident, yes, that's it. Oh, I can do the task for the other recruiter. Ooh. That's a good idea. Sure, I'm going to do the task for the other recruiter first. That is your decision. I suppose it doesn't hurt to make certain they trust you, but you should not take too long. Sagacious Zoo's actions are troubling. Mm hmm. The Inquisitor will have some task that needs addressing, I'm sure. Scholar Dong Gao in the Scholar's Garden is the contact. Right, right. What do you think about our current situation? The Lotus Assassin Fortress is dangerous, but we have no other choice if we are to prove Death's hand is a traitor. Right. I chose you because I knew you could handle this. After you get what I need, I will take you to the palace. Alright, okay. Okay, so let me plan this out. I'm gonna go quickly do the, um... Well, we know... Oh, Zoo! Zoo, no! No! So close, yet so far. Um, I'm reaching towards him. I'm reaching towards him at my screen, since you guys can't see. But anyway, um... So, we're gonna end up taking... Katana with us to the palace, and before that we're going to end up taking OnStar with us to the Necropolis. So I want to take somebody else with me to um, do the other task, the other Lotus Assassin recruiter task. Um, Zoo's gone. We just did something with with um, Drunken Mickey, and Sky, both Sky and um, Wildflower um, we did stuff recently with. So I'm gonna bring my buddy Ho. I'm gonna bring my Ho to these, this other recruitment task. I just hope we don't bump into my suspicious spouse. Yeah, after all your talk about your suspicious spouse, I hope, I hope not as well, Ho. That'll be good. And, um, you know, might as well talk to OnStar while we're at it. I suppose it is good that the Lotus Assassin Executioner accepted you. I wish I felt better about that. Something wrong. Will you be heading to the Lotus Assassin Fortress soon? When you are through there, the princess will take us to the palace. So she says. I dread the answer, but is there something the Inquisitor wants you to do as well? Now that I've completely crushed uh, OnStar's heart, I can actually be nice to her again. <laughs> um, what do you think about what has been happening? As much as I think it is foolishly dangerous, you need to go to the Lotus Assassin Fortress and find the information the princess needs. After that, she will take us to the palace. We are so close to Master Li. Just a little longer, I hope. Mm-hmm. All right, goodbye. Very well, but we should get that business with Minister Shang out of the way. Yes, Minister... That's right, Minister Shang. Minister Shang might be in trouble if we don't, you know, rescue him from whatever fate we're rescuing him from. Hey, Wildflower, are you okay, girl? What do you want? Uh, how are your, uh, spirits inside of you going? The voices in your head. What do you think of our current situation? Now you're one of them, aren't you? But not really, right? We have to find them so we can stop them. I know you can do it. Aw, oh, thank you. All the people whisper in fear about them, but you stand up and fight back. But the princess said you'll have to get inside their fortress to find them. The fortress of the Lotus Assassins, hidden among the graves of the Necropolis. 
a fitting place for their corruption. Is there anything else you want? I think we're good. Okay. Hey, I just talked to you, but I'll talk to you again, Drunken Mickey. What? What do you want? I like... I don't... I, the player, doesn't really want to hear any more, no more, about Mickey's past. But Angelus would, which is why I'm choosing this. I'm a fighter, not a damn history book. Okay, okay, fine. Um, Ho oh, has a yellow thing all above his head. Hey, hey, buddy. Yes? How can this humble bun master assist you today? Why don't you just leave your wife, Ho, start over? Um, Angelus would say that, um, because he is not, if he figures if Ho's not happy, then he should do something about it. Why don't you leave your wife, Ho, start over? My prescient pretty has an uncanny knack for derailing my plans, in case you haven't already noticed. I have tried several times to leave, but it always fails miserably. Maybe I can do something about it. Some say there are spirits out there that masquerade as people, and I suspect she may be one of them. Uh. She has my soul, and there's nothing I can do about it. Wow. You really do feel a little trapped. Um... Well, being married to a spirit could have its advantages. One time, I tried to sneak away while she was delivering a special order of buns to her uncle's family. As I started to leave, I slipped on some oil and broke my arm. Oh. Still, I put my arm in a sling and was continuing on my way when I was run down by a rogue bun cart. When I came to, my wife had returned and was in a foul mood. Wow. Apparently, everyone she had visited died from food poisoning. But why not her? I mean, I'm sure she ate at least one of the buns I sent. Whoa. <laughs> this is... Wow. Um, you may be right. Perhaps she's not entirely... Human. I really... Now I really do want to meet your wife. I, I hope we get a chance to meet Ho's wife, because this... This whole thing seems so... Radical. I... I don't know. It is simply my lot in life to be given into the care of a demon whose soul sustenance comes from sucking the very life from my body and soul. Uh, soup, anyone? Mm. What are your thoughts on our situation? I still can't believe it's that easy to become a Lotus assassin. If I had known sooner, I would have joined their ranks as soon as possible. It wasn't really that easy. It would be brutal work, with little reward, and there's a good chance I'd die a hideous, painful death. But it couldn't all be better than married life, could it? Alright, um... Do you have any family, Ho? Any children? That's a good question. Thank you for asking that, Angelus. Um, no. That is a painful subject. One that brings back difficult memories. Though not for the reasons you might think. Uh, really? For four long years, my bellicose beauty insisted we try and try and try again to have a child. It was a most distressing time. I was so afraid of her for the first year that I could not perform. Aww. Her screaming and chastising only made it worse. I overcame that problem, but there were others. Aww. Uh, don't worry, Ho, it happens to lots of men. What are the problems? Um, um, I see. You don't have to go on if you don't want to. No, really, you don't have to if you don't want to. No, you have saved my life. You deserve to hear the terrible, awful truth. As I said, there were other problems. Okay, I'm listening. My plump plum of a bride is a good deal larger than me. I could compare my nightly efforts akin to climbing a mountain if only it had been that easy. Uh. And there was always the fear that she would roll. I am a small man. My delicate frame was not meant for such pressures. I once lost all feeling below the waist, which perhaps was a mercy in itself. Of course, we overcame these obstacles and kept trying for four long years. Oh my gosh, the pictures, the pictures, <laughs> the pictures. Oh boy. Oh, think, okay, I think I've heard enough. You're a wild man, ho. Once she decided we would not be able to conceive a child, her interests declined, thankfully. If we had succeeded, I would not have survived to see a second. 
tell me more about yourself, ho. Stories, stories, stories. There are no more. If I tell you anything more, I will have no secrets left. A good bun master must always have a few secrets. This I agree with. What are your thoughts on our situation? Asking the same question over and over and expecting mm. a different answer. That is the definition of a pestering and overbearing wife. Sorry, Ho, I didn't mean to. Please try to stop reminding me of my missing misses. It is a memory too I, painful to bear. I, I just want to talk to you. I miss you, Ho. I miss you. That's all. Puppy dog sad face. Good, good. I'll be here, struggling to keep up with you if you should need anything. All right. And let's go talk to Sky. Hee hee hee. Hi, Sky. How are you and your bulging muscular guns? Always happy to help. What do you need? Uh, what's on your mind right now, Sky? I was just thinking that we should keep at finding a way to the Imperial Palace. It's not that I don't want to talk, but I know time is of the essence, and I'd hate to hold you up. Oh, never, Sky, never. Not, not from you. I'd be more comfortable if we made some more progress towards the palace before I use up any more of your time with my thoughts. But, but I, I like to hear about your thoughts. In fact, what are your thoughts on our situation? You managed to satisfy the Lotus Assassins, and that's a major step forward. I just worry that it's a step over the edge of a precipice. Not as much as I want to satisfy you. Wait, who said that? Who... Who said that? Despite my misgivings, I can't help but smile at the thought that you're the reason they're so keen to acquire new recruits. <laughs> Nothing like thinning the ranks to make some room. I'll talk to you later then, Sky. Of course. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay, Ho. Let me go and get myself into a cold shower. <laughs> oh. Hey, do you have anything new? Mechanic Hingu? Hello again. Um, no, I'm good. Of course. Hey, might as well talk to Zin Boo. Ah, excellent. I have many items just waiting for you. Golden tongue. Uh, I can afford it. Uh, but I don't know if I want to. White demon style? Oh, yes, 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 yes. And a cow bezoar. I, I don't know if I need a cow bezoar right now, though. I might. It's there. I can afford it. Well, I'm just gonna keep going. Unless there's another recipe that has a cow bezoar. 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 Alright, is there any places here that I can turn in missions? Imperial City Gates, Captain Sen. Jin Lin. Oh! Jin Lin, I think, is... Oh, and Prefect Jitong. Okay, good, good, good. Good, 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 good. That's the Imperial Arena. Did I did I go through here already? I went there at the got scolded by his tutor, and that's why he doesn't scream and shout anymore. Have I gone this way? Oh no, I haven't. Ooh, Warriors Gem of Forethought and configuration of the dragon. Hello, we got another configuration. drink of the water infused with sulfur. Oh! Another sulfur water thing? Did Zin Bu sell that? Um... I know he had the Bezoar. You know, Bezoar, I think I actually no. like this job better than my last. Okay, well, no sulfur. Alright, alright, that's fine. I'll just have to wait and see if I can get it. So I guess... You might need these ingredients more than once then. So, I've acquired some great new items. Let's go purchase that. And Body, mind, and spirit plus three. Only ways of the open palm can use this gem. Ooh, but it's 1125. I'm gonna save my money. Um I know a bunch of people have told me to buy more stuff, but I'm I'm too much of a... I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm way too frugal. Well, I'm not that frugal. I try to use money when I feel like I really, really want something. So, none of those stuff I really, really, really want quite yet. Um, and that's why I haven't purchased them yet. Hey, Prefect Tong. There you are. 
The governor sent Ho Chong, one of his lap dogs, to oversee the trial. I hope you learn something, or I'll have to proceed with Song Tao's sentencing. I spoke with Zi Bao, and he took me to the slavers. He took you there? That's incredible. That's remarkable. Well, what did you find? Have you discovered evidence that exonerates Scholar Song Tao? Yes, I have. It's right here. Take a look for yourself. Ha! That doesn't prove a thing. Pieces of paper can be bought and sold just like anything. Just like anyone. I'm afraid you're quite mistaken, Chandler Ling. This proves a great many things, including your guilt. I never suspected the slavers were so well connected. Let me see that. Hmm. Well, this certainly looks interesting. I... Ah, uh, suppose Scholar Sung Tao can go free then. Hooray! And you, Chandler Ling, will come with me for sentencing. It will be quick and harsh, I suspect. This sort of thing will not be tolerated in the Empire. It's all a lie. You don't know what you're doing. You're all making a very big mistake. That Thank you. Thank you for risking yourself to help me. If there's anything I can do to repay you, please ask. Do you have sulfur water? Uh, just thought I'd check. I'm just glad an innocent man didn't suffer. You are too kind. I have no real way to repay you. However, I do have some items you might be interested in. What kind of items? They're not here, of course. Oh. Come and find me in the Scholar's Garden, and I will be glad to show you what I have. I'll see you there. Goodbye, and thank you again. All right. I received an aura of aura calm, aura of calm gem. Okay. Um. Okay. All right. This is good. I like what I have equipped right now. There's Junda and his wife, the Bun Masters. We don't have to talk to them. Jinlin and Captain Sen. Jinlin is the one with um, the Mad Minister of Cult. Actually, I don't remember who Jinlin is. Let's just talk to Jinlin. Come on, Ho. Onward. Doo -doo -doo. No more excuses. Your father was very was always full of excuses too. It tires me to no end. You know what you have to do, so go do it. Please, Prevard, don't send me in there. I'm scared those things will see me before I can get into the cave. Please, don't make me do it. I have been patient with you, Jin Lin, but your father has been dead for almost a week now. It's, it's time for you to pay off his debts. What? Are you seriously asking this little kid to pay off the debts of his fa Really? Now go, or perhaps you prefer, prefer for you and your mother be sent to work at the wall? No! I will go! Please don't hurt my mother! I'll get the artifact for you, I promise! Wait, artifact? Nobody said anything about artifact? A wise decision. You know where to find me once you have it. Do not keep me waiting, Jin Lin. Poor girl. I would not want to be in her shoes. Oh, Ho. Hey, Jin Lin, um, you need help with something? What do you want? You're working for Prevere's Shuji, aren't you? Please don't tell him I haven't gone yet. I'm going now, even though it will probably get me killed. Slow down, slow down. Tell Uncle Angelus what the problem is. Calm down, I'm not with the Prevere. I'm sorry, I'm just a little upset. I I'm Jin Lin, is there something you want? Yeah, I want to know, are don't take this the wrong way, but are you a boy or a girl? Yeah, I feel like, why do I feel like Professor Oak when I say that? <laughs> I can't really tell, unfortunately, if she, if Jin Lin's a boy or a girl, and... Yeah, gotta, gotta throw in that infamous Pokemon quote. Um, I saw what happened earlier, I'd like to help you. Thanks, but I need to find a way to kill spirits. Purveyor Shuji wants me to fetch an artifact from an emperor's tomb in the necropolis, but it's filled with ghosts. The necropolis, you say? Ho ho ho! The purveyor is... 
He threatened to sell my mom to slave traders if I don't get this artifact. I don't know what to do. I can't fight ghosts. All right, well, we can't have that, can we? Can I ask you some questions? Sure. What do you want to know? Again, are you a boy or a girl? I. It doesn't matter. I mean, in the end, it doesn't matter. I'm just... I was just curious. Why are you working for the purveyor? My father worked for purveyor Shuji until he died. He left last week to retrieve the same artifact for the purveyor. The ghosts must have killed him. When my father disappeared, he had some of the purveyor's equipment. Now purveyor Shuji says we must repay him. Disappeared, eh? My mother works for him, but I don't know where he's taken her. And I have to sneak around ghosts and other beasts to fetch the purveyor's trinkets and baubles. I think something's amiss. I think I've decided that Jinlin is is a f girl, so I'm gonna refer to her as such. Tell me more about this artifact. I only know what Shuji told me, and that's not much. He called it a pestle and mortar. It's a bowl and a mixer, I think. He said it had something to do with a recipe. Can't you get that from the market? I don't know if you use it to make something, or if the recipe is in the bowl already. Anyway, the purveyor is very interested in it. I've never seen him so anxious. Huh. An, an artifact, mortar, and pestle. That's interesting. Why doesn't the purveyor get the artifact himself? The purveyor doesn't do that kind of work. He likes to get other people to do it for him. Besides, the tomb is locked from the inside. There's a small opening. Ho oh, small? He says I'm small enough to fit through the crack in the wall. I don't mind that as much as the ghosts. The tomb is filled with them. Once I'm in, I'll just be killed. Actually, Wildflower is smaller. Huh, I'm wondering if you have to take Wildflower with you. That's... I'm curious. Um, perhaps I could get rid of the ghosts for you. Really? It would be very dangerous. And I don't have anything to give you in return. Are you sure you want to do this? Uh, well, I'm all, I'm going to the necropolis anyway. I figured, you know, might as well. Um, I can't allow you to do this on your own. Thank you. You are very kind. My father would have liked you, I think. He was brave like you are. Thank you, kid. The tomb is over in the necropolis. The door is locked, but... I can sneak inside and open it. I just have to be careful not to alert the ghosts. Uh, are you sure? If you really think you can get rid of the ghosts, I'll head over to the tomb and wait for you there. Uh, okay. I I'm not gonna go there right, right there, right now. Um, I'll be there shortly, not immediately. Great! I'll wait by the steps of the Emperor's tomb. I'm sure you'll find it easily enough. See you soon, I hope. All right, I'll be there after I take care of this recruitment, this other recruitment quest thing. So, let me save over here, and we're going to continue on.